Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do project pen with you. So there is a couple of products that I'm using right now all the time because I want to finish them or some products I want to hit the pen on and I'm planning on doing this to the end of this year. And some of these products I do really really like, some of the pro products may I don't like that much but I just feel like I do have a lot of products and I do need to empty some bottles. So if you're interested to see what products are in my project pen, then please keep on watching. The first product I want to talk about is the cleansing gel that I've been using for a couple of months. And is this from Emma Pure, this Active Bio Marine. This is one um, cleansing gel that I really, really like. I really enjoy it. I feel that it really cleans my skin and leaves it very silky and fresh. Though I do feel that it a dries out my skin a little bit, but I do like it because I do have oily teasers, so that's very good for me. I don't know how this is going to work on very dry skin, but I've read reviews and many people really, really like it, even with dry skin. So I don't really know, but I do love it. And I'm actually having one more, the food bottle. So that is what I want to finish this one, but I really like it. I use it morning and night. And here I already marked where I am. And this is this one goes up. So you'll see how much I've used next time we do this video. But until the end of this year, I hope this will be gone. But I do really like that product. The next product I really like is uh, this Dermatoclan Clarifying Toner. Tested on sensitive skin for all skin types. This I do really, really like, and I don't have a lot of it. There is where I am. I don't have a lot of it, and I think that I, it, there, will, there won't be any problem for me finishing this one to the end of this year. And I have to get, say, guys, I re already filmed this video last night, but I forgot to hit the recording button, so it never recorded. So I do have to do this video again <laughs> tonight. But... That is why this video is a little bit late today, so, so so sorry guys. But like I said, I don't think there is going to be any problem with me finishing this one to the end of this year. I think it's going to take me maybe one more week and then it's going to be gone. <laughs> the next product I want to finish is the one that I don't like. And it's from the same brand before. This is eye makeup remover for all skin types. So you can see there is like a blue oil and I don't know, this is not water, I don't know what it is, but you mix it and then you put it on a cotton pad and you wipe, remove your eye makeup. This really doesn't work. For the first, Actually, it, it does remove my eye makeup, but it doesn't remove my mascara. And I'm not talking about waterproof mascara because I don't use those. So even if I clean my eyes with this, there is still going to be some mascara left on my eyes. And if I clean it again and wash my face in the morning when I wake up, I'm going to have dark or black uh, mascara transform down under my eyes. I don't know where it comes from, but it, I feel like this one doesn't want to clean everything like I would like it to. So I don't really like it because it doesn't really work. But I don't even like how it feels on my eyes. It feels very oily and it feels very strange and I don't like the feeling of it. So I'm not going to repurchase this one. And I do want to finish it. So I do have half of it left. I did mark here where I am. I don't know if you can see it. But I think I'm going to finish it because I don't want to throw it away. But I'm not liking it. So the next product I want to finish is... Duo Multiplex Moisturizer from Amapure. This is the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. Now I think I did review this on my channel and I got it for I think last year and I did use it for maybe a month or two and then I bought a couple of other products that I've used and I stopped using this and I didn't stop using it because I didn't like it. I do really really like this product. I did stop using it because I didn't want to finish it. It was expensive and I did like the results on my skin and I just 
felt like I don't want to go through it that fast. But right now I feel like it's probably going to get old and I do need to use this up. So I've been using this every morning, not at night because I have another night cream that I'm finishing right now, but I did use it every morning and I really, really like it. Now if you can see in here, now you can see how much I have left of it. But I don't think it's going to be any problem with me finishing this until till the end of this year. Would I repurchase this? I think I would because I do like it. And I love the packaging. So I've been using this, the Ordinary Coffee Solution, reduce appearance of eye contour, pigmentation and of puffiness. And I'm here with this product. And I'll be using this every morning, not every night because I had another product, but right now I'm using it for the last week. I've been using it every morning and night. I've been using this for maybe one, two months right now. And I think this is a good product. I don't like the packaging and I think it's kind of a little bit uh, disgusting. <laughs> it gathers here, I don't know if you can see it, and it doesn't look fresh and I'm be cleaning it every time. And it still gathers around here, I don't know why. But I do like the product. Would I repurchase it? I'm really not sure. I'm going to give you my full thoughts when I finish this bottle, but I think I'm going to finish it till the end of this year. And I do think it works. So it's a good product. I think it works. But I just don't like the pack packaging, how it gathers on the depth. I just don't like that. Okay, the next product I really want to finish is this one. This is Pixie by Petra Brow Tamer. I do like this product, but I'm like half done with this one. It's see-through, but right now it's brown because, you know, when you put this over your eyebrow pencil or something, it's going to transfer to the applicator. And of course, when you put it back, it's going to color the product. So, um, but I do like this product. I think it works. Um, I can see myself repurchasing this one and I do have a lot left of it. So I'm going to keep using it and hopefully finish it to the end of this year. Then the next product that I got from my beautiful friend Valerie, this is the Elf Eyebrow Pencil. Love this pencil and I'm almost done. Uh, let me show you. I don't have a lot of it left. This is how much I have and I did kind of put this next to the cap and marked it like this. So I do like it. I think it's a beautiful pen. It works, but I do have a lot of eyebrow products that I need to work on to finish. And this is one, uh, the one that I'm uh, using a lot and I hope I will finish it to the end of this year. I don't think there is going to be any problem, problem with me finishing this one because I'm in love in this pen. I think it works good. Then I also want to finish this primer from Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I've been using it every, every single day. And I can see that I'm, when I push the product down here, but I think um, maybe more than that. I'm not really sure, but I do like this product and I think I'm going to finish it. And I am definitely repurchased it, it, but I do have a lot of eyeshadow primers left that I need to use before they get bad. So. I do like that one and I do recommend it. I also want to finish, let me show you, where is it? This, this is the Dermor Densifier Eye and Lip Contour. This is an eye cream that I really like using over that serum. I think this is a serum over that one. I do put a small amount between my fingers like this. And then I rub them together and put it, pat it under my eyes and then a little bit on my smile lines. And I think it works very good. I do like this product and I can see myself repurchasing this one, but this is how far I used it. So it's a good product. I do really enjoy it. Then I do have this primer that I haven't talked about on my channel a lot. This is Veil, Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free from Hourglass. This is a primer that I tried or had a sample of when I used and tried that um, hourglass foundation, stick foundation. And I fell in love with that primer. 
So when I did apply it for the first time, you can see in that video, if you've seen it there, it, it is on my channel. The half of my face where I put the primer, it kind of got a little bit red. So I was scared of that primer, but I kept using it in, in small amounts, that sample size, I did get a lot of it. And uh, I really like how my foundation went on and how it looked, it kind of smoothed everything out. And I fell in love with that primer and I ordered it. It's not like I do need more primer, but I'm sorry, I do have some foundation on my skin from the last video, but this smoothed out my skin like nothing. It felt, feels like I have a filter over. And I really, really like how this keeps my oil in control. And I do really like it. And I do want to finish it. It's how far I went because I do have a lot of primers and I do like this one. And I feel this one works perfect for this kind of season. So I do really enjoy it. The other primer that I've been using a lot together with that one is this one from Revolution Pore Primer. I like this primer. This is how much I've used of it. And I don't take a lot of it. So I do take a small amount between my fingers like this. It's kind of peak and it's pore filling. I love it. And I do it like this between my fingers and I press it in on my T-zone everywhere on my t-zone because i find it like it works like that the best love this primer so i do use these two together <clears throat> it's very late at night and my voice is kind of disappearing i'm sorry guys and then i do have a palette that i want to heat pan <laughs> in a couple of shades this is the my new smashbox the kali contour palette that i've been enjoying a lot now, I it's powdery, but it, it's a good palette. I want to heat pan in this shade and in this bronzer because I've been using, the, using them a lot and I think they're good. And I'm very curious, curious to try that um, Kat Von D shade and light palette, I think the contour palette, I'm not sure how it's called. I haven't tried that. And I very, really, really want to buy that one. But before I buy it, I really want to heat pan in some of these shades. Um, I'm not using a lot of this one. It's very good, but I don't reach for it. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to ever hit pan in this. I don't use this bronzer shade. This is a shimmery bronzer. I don't use it. It's not that it's not bad. I just don't like how it looks on my skin tone. So I do like this blush and I do use it a lot. But the only down thing with this blush is that it doesn't last long on my skin. So it kind of disappears during the day. And that is the downside of this product. But I do enjoy contour shade and the bronzer and I do, do like, would like to hit the pan. But we'll see. And then I do like, want to hit the pan in some of shades in the soft glam. I'll be using this non-stop. And I've seen many people when they use this project pan video that last year that they talked about the, the Renaissance palette. And I do like that one, but I don't want to hit pan in that one. I do enjoy this one. It scared me. Sorry. I do enjoy this palette a lot. These two are not very shimmery like I would like them to be, but they are very good. And I would like to hit pan in this one. This one down here. This one, this one, and maybe some of these dark shades. And I don't know if these shimmery, I could hit pan in them too. But I really, really would like that because it would be my first eyeshadow palette that I hit pan on. And that never happened because I do own a lot of eyeshadow palettes. And I just bought the new, new nude, new nude with a beauty palette. And it's the makeup look. And it's what I have on my eyes. I did film this makeup look. It's going to be on my channel on Monday. And also I bought this palette too that I haven't tried yet. I just received them. So I do, would like to hit pan in some of these shades, but we'll see. Then I have two products more. I've been loving this Glow Glam Clear Lip Balm something. I don't know what it's called. Wet Lip Balm Treatment. That is how it's called. I've been using it every, every single day. And I don't know if you can see, but I don't have a lot left of it. And it smells minty minty it feels minty and fresh on my lips and i feel i have to be honest i feel like it kind of make my lips 
made my lips look more plumpier and more um, smooth and just looking more beautiful I don't know uh, I've been using it only at night I haven't been using it uh, during the day and I'll be enjoying it a lot and I can't go <laughs> To sleep without putting this on my lips I'm kind of obsessed love love how it makes my lips look the day after and it kind of first couple of weeks I haven't really noticed anything with my lips differently but right now after using this for two months I think it, it feels and I think that it kind of make my made my lips look a little bit just a little bit bigger than they are not bigger but fuller I do kind of like my lips a lot and I love this product and I will definitely repurchase this one. I don't know if there is, if they have them in different shades because this says clear down here. So I, they probably have, but the, I bought this one that is clear because I use it at night and I'll be enjoying it a lot. But for the lips, it's this one from Buxom. This is the full on lip polish in shade Celeste. I love, 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 love this one. I'm obsessed and this is how much I've used of this and I don't think that I will finish this product but I do want to kind of come very far with it till the end of this year and it's because I love, I love it a lot and I will definitely repurchase this one and I will definitely buy more shades. This is the only product that I have from Buxom and the only shade. I can put it down. Uh, God, this is this feels this feels minty and it kind of tickles a little bit on my lips but also plumps my lips a little bit and my husband loves when I have this on my lips only this one on my lips without any lipstick under and my my lips look very wet and wet and shimmery and he when I put that this one off the first time he looked at me and said that product that you have on your lips it's beautiful and it really makes your lips look full and juicy <laughs> i know that's a good word <laughs> but i thought it was funny because he never likes when i have the lipstick on but this one he really liked how it looked on my lips and yeah i love it definitely repurchase it and buy more shades shades because i do like this one and it plumps my lips i love everything that makes my lips look bigger and fuller and I, then I have a product that I haven't talked about a lot on my channel. Is this from a con Fix It and Forget It. Set up to 24 hours makeup setting mist. This is, oh my God, the best setting, setting spray or setting mist that I've ever tried. The mist on this is just, oh, I don't know if you can see it, like a dream. And I will definitely repurchase this one um, down here with this product. I will definitely finish it to the end of this year and I will definitely repurchase this one. I do have a lot of other setting sprays that I want to finish. And uh, this is the last setting spray that I bought and I've been using it every day since then. And I can't put it away. I know I have other that I have to use that I tried and used before I got this one. But I just can't put this away because I love this product a lot. I just love this product a lot and I would definitely repurchase it. Love it. And after setting my makeup with this setting spray, setting mist, I go over with MAC Prep and Prime Fix Matte. And I love it. And this one, I do have the clear one too. Here's the clear one. And I love that one too. But I do enjoy this this one with uh, that is mad because I do have very oily tea zone and I do want to finish it because during the winter I do get oily but also very dry on a couple of parts on my skin and I would like to go over to this one so I do want to finish it I'm almost done I'm not down here I did watch a couple of reviews before I bought this one where people really didn't, didn't like this product because they got the white spots everywhere on their face and they had to remove their makeup and apply it again because this one destroyed their makeup 
it has like white powder in and uh, I ha didn't have any product uh, product didn't have any pro problem with that you can see there is powder down here that is dried out dry down but I do like it I do shake it very well before I apply it on my skin and this made makes my makeup just melt together and uh, makes me not look shiny after a couple of hours so I do like that that was everything I'm very tired thirsty and I feel like my voice kind of is leaving me right now but thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to surprise surprise <laughs> subscribe and on Friday, it's uh, I'm coming up with a, another giveaway, so don't forget to enter that one. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you in my next video. Bye.